to show you how to install and configure the banjo bolster for a banjo that has a Dobson tone ring. So start on one side of the dowel stick, place the banjo bolster against it, and then just have it simply follow the rim, compress it as you go, and have it touch the other end of the dowel stick. So right now, let me just adjust it a little bit. It's making light contact with the top of the tone ring, and this is a great place to start. This may give you the exact sound you're looking for. Another option that you have is to lift it away from the tone ring on all sides so I can actually get my fingers underneath the banjo bolster. I'm clearing the tone ring. And this is gonna give you the least amount of overtone removal. Uh, for some banjos, this is exactly the right setting. That's the one I use for this banjo. In addition to fully clearing the uh, tone ring, you can have one end touching the tone ring lift it back up. You can have the other end touching the tone ring. Each of those are going to give you a different sound. You can have both ends touching the tone ring. Again, different tone. And you can have, let me just adjust it so that the ends are not touching. You can have just the center touching. Again, different. If you have a situation where you're looking for even more overtone removal, you can take the banjo bolster, have it actually make contact with the head. This is gonna be approaching something along the lines of conventional stuffing. Gonna add a lot more dampening, but in some situations it may be something you're looking for, especially if you have a hide head and there's a lot of humidity and the head starts to stretch. Um, this will be a good stopgap for you. And you can do the same thing. You can have one, one side touch the head and you can have the other side touch the head. You can have both sides touch the head. A lot of, lot of options with a Dobson tone ring that uh, are not offered on ones that don't have it. In addition to the lower arc, you can also place the banjo bolster in the upper arc. You just get it in there. And you can go through the same options that we were just talking about, giving you a completely different sound. So if you have any questions about the banjo bolster or would like to purchase one for yourself, please visit banjobolster.com. Thanks.